Welcome to Renewed Day by Day with Pastor Ralph La Rosa. He's been teaching us about the church in these last days. Today, he will continue his topic about sin and forgiveness. Let us hear from Pastor Ralph. Okay, first of all, let's look at five Greek words to understand sin as a whole. Okay, let's look at five Greek words. First of all, the word sin itself is, comes from the Greek word harmatia. And in theology, we, started, we study har, harmatiology, and it's the study of sin. And harmatia means to fall short. Uh, it's a picture of an archer. And no matter how much he tries, his arrow always falls short of the target. It just never hits the target. He can't make it. It's also like uh, if you can imagine yourself, you're in Manila Bay, and you're going to swim to Hawaii. And some people make it farther than you do, but nobody makes it. Nobody can make it. We all fall short, okay? The second one is transgressions. And uh, this is a little more on purpose, okay? And in the first one, we're trying, but we just can't make it. We just don't have the capacity to make it. In this one, we kind of on purpose, power of basis. It means to cross a line. We see a sign, stay off the grass. So we take our foot, we cross the line. Nobody hits us and ha <laughs> ha, they didn't get us, cross the line. And so transgressions is a little more volitional. We're doing it on purpose. And the worst out of these five is lawlessness or iniquity. And this comes from the Greek word anomia. Namas means law. Anomia means rebellion. This is the worst one. It's, it's a belligerent violation of God's moral law. And, we're, and this, this is where we get the concept of lawlessness. And this is what leads to crime. Okay, and then we have the word tra trans, uh, trespass. Uh, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Okay, and that's actually the word used here. And it comes from parapatoma. And this one is, is not as bad as lawlessness. It means we slip, we fall. Uh, it just happens. It's a reaction. We're overtaken by sin and we trespass against someone. Maybe we didn't mean to, but we do it anyway. And in Galatians 6.1, it says, those that are caught in the sin, gently help him to restore himself. So that's the word trespass. And then we have the word debt. Now, this is very interesting. Uh, you know, as a noun, it's only used one time, and that's in this passage, or two times. As a verb, it's used about 30 times. Five times is talking about being in debt with money. We understand that, a money debt. But 25 times, it means about being in debt to God because we've broken his moral law. And we are so in debt, we could never, ever pay that debt. Someone else had to pay that debt. And that's the Greek word, uh, ophi lima, okay? And so you have five different words, sin, transgression, lawlessness and also iniquity, trespass and debt, which comes from these five Greek words. Maybe that will help to understand it a little bit. Okay, let's look at the devastating consequences of sin. Okay, I want you to really focus in on it. We, we overlook this sometimes. Because we all sin, we take it for granted. Oh, you know, it's no big deal. Everybody sins. Here is sin, there is sin, everywhere is sin, sin. But it has devastating consequences. Okay, forgiveness is the greatest need of the human heart. Wow. Because of the many consequences of sin. Uh, sin brings immediate consequences with degrees of guilt, as well as the loss of love and joy and peace. But most horrific for the unbeliever is sin's future consequence of eternal damnation in hell. And because it's not immediate, we think it's not going to happen. 
And it's devastating because sometimes we sear our conscience, we push away the truth, we suppress it, we don't listen, we think, look at everybody else, and we're better than some, and, it's, and we end up in hell. There's a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof is a way of death. So let's talk about forgiveness of sin, our greatest need. Okay, sin robs people of the fullness of life because it damages the conscience, it damages the mind, it damages your soul, it damages your body. They estimate between 50 and 75% of all illnesses is psychosomatic, which means the mind is affecting the body. And many of these things, if not most, if not almost all, I mean, we all are good. we're going to get sick sooner or later because uh, of the original sin. But the fact is, much of our pain is self-induced. Listen to this. Listen carefully. Sin is the culprit in every broken marriage, every disrupted or dysfunctional home, every shattered friendship, every argument, every pain except the normal pains that God allows, every sorrow, every death, all of, all of that is because of original sin and personal sin. And that's why forgiveness, which is available, is our greatest need. Let's look at four, that's kind of negative, <laughs> and it is, and we live in the last days, and it's intensifying as part of prophecy. And it's going to get worse, but nothing like the tribulation. And if you're a believer, you won't be there here for that. But you are in the last days. Thank you for listening to Renewed Day by Day with Pastor Ralph LaRosa. Because of the many consequences of sin, forgiveness becomes the greatest need of the human heart. Join us again tomorrow to hear more about sin and forgiveness. God bless you and stay healthy.